And this next match, oh, this is going to be sick. Ladies and gentlemen, the next match is going to be none other than IFU's Marwin versus the Mustache Zerg. That's right. LRM Bakuryu. It's going to be a TVZ on Tau Cross. At the left side as the 9 o'clock sporting fantastic spatial, sorry, facial hair. Whoa, spatial hair. And uh, not actually spending his drones properly. Is a Lauren Bakri. At the 6 o'clock as the orange Terran. The defender. Team IFU. It is Marwin. This guy's really good, by the way. Really sick Terran. And again, one of those players that's like, you know, showed some uh, pretty cool results in Defiler tournaments, but haven't really seen him too much elsewhere. Um, so really interested to see what he's gonna do. All right, so blue against orange. Nice. Whew. So it's like Overlord guy going the right direction. And uh, hmm, TVC on top cross. Seems pretty standard. Excuse me. Although, uh, of course, there's no ramps anywhere, so it's a little bit harder to do the good old two lurker protection of your third. But I don't think that's too big of a deal. I mean, it's still a pretty narrow, narrow little choke thingy here. You can still use like three lurkers to defend that. Easy peasy. And uh, yeah, this is interesting. So I feel, I feel actually up 2 1 here. Man, I totally liquidated L LRM. Am I going to be 0 for 2 in liquid today? Oh god, that'd be terrible. Oh man. Uh. See, see, this is actually why this is actually my first time participating in Liquid Bet. Like, I never Liquid Bet before because I knew I'd be terrible at it. It's like, you know what? I'm not even gonna try. And and I don't know why. And then I started Liquid Betting now. I'm just, just bad. I'm bad. Anyway, this like Drone Scout and SCV Scout gonna go over to the top right. I'm not gonna see anything there. Looks like the beginnings of a one rack expand from Mr. Marwin. Versus, of course, the overpool of Bakri. I think that was an overpool. Pretty sure. And there's the expansion as well. And looks like uh, it's gonna come out. Now, going for pool first on this map is actually uh, generally a wise decision because, of course, if you go 12 hatch, you can get. Depot blocked here, and I believe that's uh, drone as well as Zergling tight. So the Terran can do all kinds of dirty cheeses where he blocks out with a depot and then bunker rushes your hatchery or something like that. Doesn't even need a bunker really if he, if he gets the wall off. Get a bunch of Marines over there. It's pretty crazy. <clears throat> anyway. Do do do. Oh. Uh. Ah, run away. Oh, what? Why'd he stop? Alright, there we go. Scooting around, going back. He's just gonna get his, uh, his little expansion there. He doesn't care too much. Uh, he's gonna have three Marines. He might want to pull a couple of SCVs. Yeah, he's gonna pull three. It looks like four SCVs to stop this. Because, um, of course, the three Marines actually will not stand up to the six Lings at all. So, uh, this little pressure thing is gonna be nice for Bakker. You're gonna, you know, deny mining a little bit. Of course, he can't see everything with the Overlord as well, so he knows that he shouldn't really commit here. Uh, ooh, nice little wall here, actually. Very nice positioning from, from Marwin. Really loving that. Good stuff. I'm doing a little depot thing as well. You can put a bunker here later on if he wants. Small Bakri, though, just going for three hatch. This is what he got his gas now, and I'm gonna start mining away. Happily, while one link chases away, that's going SCV. So, so far, nothing too crazy going down. And these things are gonna back up here. Um, with five Marines there, yeah, the SCVs can just go back to mining. It'll be all, all good and dandy. We got the second racks, then we got the refinery. Looks like no super quick gas from Marwin. It's just gonna go presumably two racks and then academy. Not gonna try for any kind of fast plus one or or tech build or anything like that. And looks like these things of Bakri are gonna come back trying to accept the SEV. It's gonna be close. Oh, the link's bugging out a little bit. And ah, it doesn't quite stop it. So it should go back to the main here. Most likely see the third hatchery as well. Uh oh, he's gonna get blocked though. Oh, he doesn't he's getting blocked from the third hatchery. 
he might not actually see that, in which case he doesn't actually know if this is a 3-hatch or a 2-hatch build, so he doesn't, he isn't able to see the third, hat, the third hatchery, and he doesn't know the timing of the lair. Like, the lair could have been almost finished for all he knows, so I don't think he actually can tell whether this is a 3-hatch or a 2-hatch opening from Bakryu. But having said that, I, I don't think Bakryu is the type of player to go for 2-hatch Muta very much. Um, like, if I, if I was, uh... If I was Marwan, I would have just assumed this is a 3 hatch opening, but he's going to send out a second SP just to be safe. Waku is going to see it on the way, he's going to stop it. How did... Oh, he must have uh, sta right clicked to the minerals with the previous SCV's vision, so this SCV is actually stacking all the way to the minerals. So that's quite clever. Okay, cool. That was kind of weird looking, I was like, whoa, how did that guy just like phase through all the Zerglings? But uh, no, he's going to get in here. I think he can actually just see from the creep here that there is a third hatchery there, he doesn't actually need to see the hatchery. And of course he sees the spire timing just going down now, of course if it was two hatch it would be much faster as well. It looks like Link Speed about to finish, so he's going to see that as well with this SCV. So you see that it's done, he's going to be a little bit careful. He's going to poke out now, try and force some sunken colonies from Bakryu. Um, so this overlord is going to see them moving out. There's no Link at the front, but that's okay, Bakryu saw it anyway. And it was a 2 Rx Academy as I said eBay on the way now. Looks like Baku thinking about going for a backstab with the Lings. One of them uh, getting a bit mixed up in the pathing or something, so four of them going to go for the counterattack. There's only two Marines there. These can actually take these down easily, but it looks like uh, he's actually coming swinging back around. Perhaps going to try and just pick off reinforcements or maybe uh, just, you know, do a flank attack on these Marines, but oh my god, looks like Marwin uh, completely prepared for it. Runs back and tries to snipe them off. Only grabs one of the Lings. Good reaction time from both players, really. It's a really solid play so far. I like it. And looks like uh, Bakuyu has been forced to make three sunken, so that's too much for this Marine Force to break. And looks like Marwin is just going to go home after scanning that. I mean, he didn't need to do any damage. This, as, just by forcing the sunkens, obviously he's costing Bakuyu three drones as well as a bunch of minerals, so that's really all he wanted to do anyway. So he's like, oh, I did that. Alright, home time. You know, doesn't want to leave him out in the middle of the map. And it's like range on the way. Stim, of course, is already done. So yeah, just a very nice and calm game so far. Now my, my um, or rather, what I'm wondering is where Baku's gonna get his third. It's usually, of course, at the other main. But as I said, uh, on this map, it's not quite as easy to hold that. Um, but, uh, but then again, like, the third base is very open as well, so I'm pretty sure he'll take the, the top right main as well, or sorry, anyway. And, uh, and Marwin is gonna check that as well. Marwin thinking along the same lines. Well, overlord guy getting pushed back, and it looks like uh, the mutas are now out. Not quite nine of them. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. So one muta short, uh, perhaps because he was forced to make three sunkens earlier on. And now sending a drone out to make a third. Let's see where that's going to go. It looks like it's going to go just to the twelve, but yeah, he's actually going to actually not moving that out very far. Meanwhile, whoa, oh. Oh, man, Marine's getting a lot of shots off on these mutas. bakuyu has got to be way more careful about this. Oh, taking a lot of damage already. And all oh, the links are coming in, though. He's going for the attack. More mutas coming in, but there's way too many Marines. Bakuyu really cannot do this. Oh, man, Bakuyu oh, taking a lot of damage. Really not making that worth it. I think Bakuyu completely misjudged that situation. Didn't realize there were so many, so many Marines coming in from the back. He's now getting his third base up. But look at this. There's no way for him to defend this with just a couple of Lurkers. He's really going to have to have a substantial army to actually be able to hold off the Terran's mid-game attack against that base. And... I'm not really sure if he's going to be able to do that. Bakker actually looking in a bit of a, uh, a tricky situation here. Meanwhile, it looks like the Marines getting, uh, or sorry, the Mew is getting pushed back. Bakker should probably try and harass down here. I mean, there's this nice little high ground thing behind the uh, the minerals, but um, <clears throat> it's a little bit tricky. Meanwhile, looks like the scanning SV didn't see anything on the top right, so he's going to go and try and see uh, anything at the 12 o'clock. It's going to get intercepted by these Zerglings, of course. <clears throat> I'm a little bit surprised he actually attacked there. He couldn't have been on A-move, or he would have fought that SCV, I guess, or... I'm not really sure, that's weird. Anyway. Looks like Queen's Nest is on the way. Bakri going up to Hive, of course he's getting Lurkers. Looks like, uh... He's not morphing any. I don't know if he actually has the, uh, research... Or, yeah, the research thing or not. And finding a small opening here in the back of the main, but, uh... Whoa! We're taking some more damage there. Gonna have to pull back. Plus one is now done on the Marines. They're gonna be doing even more damage to those Mutas. Really, really scary time to be a Muta. And uh, Marwin also taking up, as expected. So Marwin is looking in pretty good shape. Baku does have these lurkers out. I mean, I think he might have to do some kind of crazy stop lurker uh, 
trap or something if he wants to be able to hold his base, because I, I mean, this is going to be so hard to hold when this Terran army actually finally moves out. So I guess Hive is on the way, getting Carapace, all that good jazz, getting some more Lurkers, we got a lot of Hydras actually. And here we go, so Marvin going to do the first poke. Doesn't quite have his first vessel yet, though. Of course, you do generally want to wait for that first vessel before moving out all the way. He's going to lead a little bit with the lurker, with the SVs. See, that's what I'm talking about. There's a stop lurkers, but I think. Oh, oh my God! Is Marwin going to fall for it? Oh my God, Marwin! How the? Wait, what? Wait, how did? Was there a scan here? How did he shoot that? Wait, what the shit just happened? Uh, I'm not. I guess he must have scanned like up here or something, and we didn't see it, and it barely got vision of this one. I'm pretty. I assume he must have scanned up here, uh, kind of knowing that Baki would try a, try a scop lurker or something, and then and then we didn't actually see that. I'm okay. I'm I'm gonna go with that. We can. I can watch. I might watch the replay again just to make sure because that was really weird. I'm pretty sure he scanned the bridge though. Anyway, so that, that avoided disaster there, man. If Bakri's Lurkers were like three hexes lower, he could have just killed everything, that would be crazy. But uh, some sick sense there by uh, by Marwin, wow. Man, that's that's crazy, he could have just lost everything right there. I was like, oh my god, he's totally going for it. Bakri doesn't like try to go for a Vestal Snipe, doesn't quite get it off though. And that, see this is what I'm talking about, this is so scary, and how are you going to hold on to this base? How are you going to do it, Baku? Show me. Show me your magic. Two random SCVs going up here. I don't know what they're doing. Going to go hide in a corner and make out or something. It's all good. They're young and in love. Anyway. Oh, this is some random rain getting distracted. Oh my god, here we go. The Lurker's moving in. The tax agent up. There's the Irradiate. That's a lot of Lurkers. Baku can actually force this back. He's going to take down the first siege tank here with the Muta supporting as well. And it looks like he is actually does have champ enough units to hold back this attack. Oh, he's got to be careful with the Mutas though. The Mutas are the tanks here. They're actually uh, drawing fire for the Lurkers to move in and borrow. But it looks like the random Marines that got distracted on the side are actually running around the side and going to attack this base anyway. He's actually getting flanked by Marines, but he should be able to take them out easily with the Mutas and the Lynx. He will take them out here, not before losing a Muta though. But now that gives the main force an opportunity to move out as well. Meanwhile, a dropship not quite fully loaded is going over to the main base with Bob. Bakryu. Oh man, he's got his defile around. It doesn't look like he's got consume yet. Consume is just a few seconds from finishing. He really needs that consume. The, the, the science vessel though doesn't actually have irradiate either though, so he can't irradiate the defiler. But there's the drop in the main base. What does Bakryu have? He doesn't have anything. He's got overlords. No, he's got a handful of lanes that are moving back. Marwin, while this is going on, is taking a server base, but there's the Dog Swarm! Are the Lurkers gonna get under it? Yes! The Lurkers do get under it, and the Marines are a little bit scattered! Marwin tried to snipe the Defiler with his Marines, but instead, the Swarm went off and he lost a good number of them. He's even gonna lose both of his Siege Tanks, it looks like. Bakryu holds it off, but meanwhile, the Marines in the main base, what are they doing? Where are the Lings go? I don't know what happened to the Zerglings, but it looks like, the, oh, it looks like the Marines actually killed them all, and they're even gonna snipe the Spawning Pool. The Spawning Pool is gonna go down here, so even though Bakryu's held off the main attack, he's taking severe damage in his main base here. Bakryu he looks like he's in trouble. Oh my god, he moved out of the swarm. Bakri moved out of the swarm. And now he's lost almost all of his lurkers. He's got two lurkers left under the dark swarm, but he's losing his main base. The spire might go down. There's the dark swarm. He's going to lose the spire. The spire is barely alive, but now the lings, are they enough? The lings are not enough. The lings are not enough. The spire could still go down. He needs to target the spire. He needs to target the spire, but it looks like the third base is going down anyway. The third base is dead. The main is dead. Bakryu is on the ropes here. I don't know what he can do anymore. But Bakryu is completely dead, I think. He looks like he's gonna save his fire, but what is that gonna do? I don't think it matters. I heard another drop or something. Wait, what? I guess it must have gotten scourged because only two Marines came out of that one. Oh man, meanwhile the Marines of the third still doing work here, still. Killing drones, the two marines left gonna kill the rest of the drones. Oh my god. Bakryu must be so sad right now. Bakryu, I'm sure, is very, very sad. His mustache is probably drooping right now in the sadness. And it looks like we're gonna have another hidden base here at the top right, even as his third base has already gone online. 105, 111 supply against 68. Bakryu is like finally remining at his uh, 
at his main there. His rebuilds his pool, but man, he's taking such colossal damage. I'm not sure what he can do anymore. It's like Vulture upgrades even on the way. <clears throat> Alright. Bakryu. What you gonna do? What you gonna do? Why are all these moves just like randomly spread out? Alright, looks like he's finally gotten control of them. I don't see any medics. Alright, there are the medics. A little bit of a, a gender ratio problem here. <laughs> he's only got four, four medics with like a million marines. Oh man. Oh, but he's moving in anyway. Look at that. Serious balance issues. Need more women's. Oh, he loses a vessel too. That's alright. Looks like a handful of marines gonna go over and make sure this uh, base stays safe. And Baku just gonna try and be a boss and hold on with uh, with Dark Swarm. Is he even getting a greater spire? I don't. Does he even have any mutas left? He's gonna have to remake the mutas. But where's he actually gonna attack them? I guess he can make it like put a couple back here. You know, like put it put it. Oh, I can make that guy a guardian. That'd be pretty cool. But even then, it's pretty difficult. And looks like. Oh man! Firebat, Medic, and three Vultures. What a badass drop composition. Oh no, let the Firebat get out! No, what the, the not the Medic, the Firebat! God damn it. God damn, whatever. Alright, so the Grace Fire finishes. Little SCB train goes over there. And there's like some mine. Oh, look at that poor Medic. Oh no, no! Oh, oh no, man! Come on, Firebats, you gotta live. Oh, ah. Alright, whatever, the Vulture's killing stuff. And, well. Oh, double D Matrix! Oh man, I'm glad I, you know, almost missed that. But quit, didn't play. Wait, wait, no, that came out wrong. I'm glad I didn't miss that, even though I, I kind of almost did. So, just waiting for Bakryu to kind of actually die. I mean, he's basically dead right now, but you know, he's Bakryu, he's not going to leave the game forever. He's going to try and make a sick comeback. He's at 65 against 150 supply. Counter-attack against something. He's going to counter-attack against, against his base. Oh, there's nothing here. This could be good. This could be good. Oh, no, those Marines. Party poopers. Party poopers! Alright. And there's the beginnings of the complete mech switch. There's still a bunch of random D-Matrix Marines. Oh, they lost it. They lost it, man. The D-Matrix is quite cool. It's like the like the little energy things that fly around the like the Super Saiyans when you power up. Like little balls of energy. Pretty sick. Do do do. So what? Why is he getting high drops? I guess because he's like expecting the mech switch, but no, no, oh, well, yeah, you gotta play golf. Oh, oh, he's charging the lurkers. Doesn't even matter. I wonder if a guardian went here. Oh my, what the shit is that? Oh my god, two port battle cruisers. Oh man, the cattle cruisers. Playing, yeah. God, I need to learn how to obs better. This is terrible. Anyway, <laughs> sorry, I'm, I'm really just this is this is so over. It's like a hundred supply lead for the Terran. He's going two port BCs. That just shows you how far ahead he is right now. Uh, I wonder if he's getting BC upgrades. Does he have like three armories somewhere? He doesn't have any armories. Hmm. Right, here we go. Here we go. These are all plagues. They're all plagues. He could get it. He could get it. Ugh. And there's the BCs. <laughs> oh man, poor Baku is like, God damn it. God damn it. I mean, there's cattle bruises on the field, and there aren't even any cows to bruise. I mean, Baku just actually doesn't have any cows. So, what's the point of having a cattle bruiser if there's no cattle to bruise? Anyway, Bakri's got Hydras instead, which are actually not going to be terrible against the uh, uh, BCs. 
Meanwhile, that base is going down. Way, and that base is going up. And that overlord is shooting himself. <laughs> Barker's like, quick, make some devourers before the greater spire goes down. Oh, this mine. That mine. Oh, man, look at that. He just micro'd away from all the mines. By the way, the Marines and the Hydras can equally not damage each other in that base. Oh, we had some Yamatas going down on Hydras. You should just attack. Or not. So, Bakri is back down to his original three bases. He's trying to be a hero. Um, hmm. 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 Should make some armories to upgrade those BCs. Oh, killing that poor irradiated Hydra. BM. Anyway, it looks like oh, the good old mass repair on the BCs. I like it. Where are the rest of the BCs at? There's two more here. Is he just- I mean, he's max. Is he just waiting to kill Bakri with only battle cruisers? Come on, Marvin. Come on. Kill him. Kill him. Finish him! Finish him! Finish him! Finish him! Bakri now doing the good old mass hydra, even though there's a bunch of bios still on the map, which means his hydras are not going to be effective at all. He just wants to kill the BCs. That's all he wants to do. So while this attack is going around at the north, there's five BCs flying into the back of Bakri's base here. Um, completely gratuitous. Oh, that was a good play. Well, not really. And there we go. The BCs are going to kill everything. They're unupgraded, though, against uh, two carapace hydras. Although, well, still going to kill them. And that's a lot of hydras actually, but I think it's still enough to kill, kill uh, sorry, the range is still enough to kill it. Especially with the radiates, although actually it's going to be pretty close here, but the problem is that the BCs are killing everything in the back as well. And yeah, those other marines are actually enough. And Marwin actually has not dropped below 200 supply. GG from Bakuryu! IFU is now up 3-1 over LRM. They're about to slay the undefeated LRM, which means that if that happens, they will uh, take over the third place position in the rankings, and uh, and the only undefeated team remaining will be SAS. Crazy. Also, I suck at Liquibet. Oh, oh god. Oh, oh god. Oh wait, no. Oh wait, no, this is good. Okay, wait, no. Never mind, never mind. This is good. This is good. All right. The next match is going to be IFU's Te, the German Terran player, versus the Wonder Kid. LRM Cole, back from the dead. That's right. He suddenly reappeared last week. Out of nowhere, he showed up to Ling All In Schnitzel, and he's now here to... Hopefully not laying all in again. Now see, I totally got the teams mixed up. I thought, for some reason, I was like, I, I had it in my head that Cole was playing for IFU, and then it would just be a 4-1. I don't know what I was thinking. It's like, whoa. 